What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Good Influences. I'm Mike Sheffer. Next to me is Carly Encontro, Aaron Gilfoy, and Matt King. Today, we're going to be talking about irrational fears, things that you're scared of, we're scared of, what they are. I got the definition. Of an irrational fear. Yep. Good. Yeah, okay. let's clarify it. A persistent, because I was confused. I was like, is it just a fear? Like, you're afraid of spiders, or is it something more than Some, that? Yeah, something like so irregular. Like we'll, we'll clarify. A persistent, irrational, intense fear of a specific object, activity, or situation. Fear that is recognized as being excessive or unreasonable by the individual himself. So I think it's like okay. you're self-aware that it's... A little silly. Yeah. That okay, that's the, fair. the odds of it happening are so slim. Yeah. And I will say before we and jump in, there are definitely valid medical conditions that people have where they are scared of things this is not to yeah look down on anything about that this is just us having a good time talking about what scares us and maybe what scares you yes um and this is actually we can i don't know if you guys know this i don't think i've shared it but oh, i exclusive <laughs> i am scared of elevators that's well, i hate what? i don't like being in elevators <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Is that, is that why you didn't get in the that's elevator? Why I never, that's why I never take the elevator. I'm not laughing because he's afraid of elevators. No. I'm laughing because every single week, we are, what is this, our 13th week of yeah. doing this? We take an elevator down to the little lunch area that we sit at every single time, down and up, and Mike walks around where i was like why the hell and is he like two taking... stories yeah. we're going up and down one story and he's like taking a little jaunt and we're like oh, that is crazy and like we literally oh, just gave him shit sad. we were like just get in the elevator and he's well, like i, I need exercise <laughs> he gets the blood flowing well, yeah. I, I took it on the way down just to like oh, face my piece. fear Did and it like scare you? yeah i hated it wait 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 so do you take elevators ever never if i it's you like you lived in New York I know. City for and, years. Well, my office when I lived there was on the second floor. My apartment was on the second floor, so I would always walk. And it's like one of the reasons I didn't want to live in New York anymore is because you wow. need to go in elevators all the time. And I just don't like being in them. I don't want to get in them. Is it like the claustrophobia? It getting stuck? It like coming unhinged and crashing? It's nope. all of it. It's all of it. Like, I, I don't know. Just like, for example, when I was just in Israel, I went to visit my grandma who lives in like a you know, a old age home and she lives on the eighth floor and oh. my whole family got in the elevator and I hoofed it up eight flights to get up there wow. and hoofed it back down because I just don't want to get in an elevator. That wow. is wild. But clearly you don't care about all your loved ones or friends getting in one at all. Because <laughs> you're like, I, if something bad's going to happen, I encourage, you guys go ahead. First of all, I encourage everyone to walk and nobody ever does. So um, that's... It's not my responsibility. To be to, fair, it's 102 degrees outside. It's hot. I get it. <laughs> uh, it's And I'm not scared that like I'm going to die, but like I don't know. There's something about when that elevator door closes, my first thought is I'm going to be stuck here forever. Like oh. It's going to stop in between floors. It's going to get... It's just going to not move. The door's not going to open. I'm going to need to use the bathroom. It's going to get really hot. I'm with other people. Someone's going to panic. Like, I know, and this is why it's irrational, because like you're not going to die if the elevator, a one-story elevator stops. But when I get like, it, even just thinking about an arm of hearts, just like racing, oh my God. I don't know why, but I just don't. And, then it, and it didn't, I used to not care about it. And then there was some point I just clicked that I don't want to be in elevators. I wish you had told us. Yeah. Why I feel you? bad. Why? No, I, I don't. I mean, I, I, I kind of have fun with it. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to take the stairs, get the blood flowing. Like, <laughs> I just don't want to get a fucking elevator. Wow. Interesting. So you you have, have no a... fear of elevators whatsoever. Well, the thing is, I'm a person who I feel like. There's not really, like, a, a ton of irrational fears that, like, I think about. I think it's, like, I just have, like, an impending thought every time I think something bad will happen. Like, when I get into an elevator, I think of everything that could go wrong, but it's not something that would, like, hinder me from taking it. You, like, you're I'm literally the like, risk. Yeah, it, but it's, like, no, I'll have, like, visions. I'll be, like, oh, like, that movie where, like, someone was trying to climb out of one and then, like, their head got chopped off. Or, like, if all of a sudden the wire just snapped and, like, we crashed. Like, I think of that <laughs> like, actively like, while I'm in elevators does Honestly, it freak you out it's yeah. impossible also for like elevators oh, yeah, to so snap scared. like it's like mm. no they it's like i don't know it's like uh if it's impossible what's it called fail proof or like that they the the, the whole trope that you see in movies about the elevator falling like and snapping, snapping yeah the, the, that doesn't the, happen anymore the mechanics of how they build elevators it cannot do that there was like I, go ahead i think the thing is like that's what a fear is it's it's like okay you know like logistically how it's made that it's safe but in the off chance like what if 
someone goes up there and cuts it and like does something it's like, <laughs> a pirate you know you know but like <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> you know but it's like you just think of you just think of the worst no matter what and like yeah. that's what causes irrational fears because it's yeah. irrational it's like we know that it's safe like we know that well, well here's okay. an example actually one time when i was living in new york we went to a halloween party on the third floor of someone's apartment and it was like whatever two or three in the morning everyone is hammered and like end of the party way too many people went into the elevator oh, and everyone's no. drunk That's and like scary. it was like packed in like sardines and i just was like no i'm not i'm not getting in that fucking elevator i'm walking i walked that elevator door closed and those people were stuck there for two and a half hours oh. that specific elevator that i was gonna go in yeah. closed That's a lot. and like someone might have like jumped or something or like i don't know what happened it was just a bunch of drunk people and they were stuck in there it took like two and a half hours i heard because like i knew people that were in it Oh my and, God. and i was just drunk too? yeah they were drunk like people started peeing in the I elevator yeah. like and ever since I, that might have been one of the times that i was like okay never fucking get in a crowded elevator because and and what's the worst that happened they were stuck there for two hours life goes on you yeah, still but, take the elevator sometimes when you have to i i can't remember the last time i had to take an elevator what if it wow. was like there was some big event that was happening on like the 80th, 80th floor, floor of some building like Where, you, you, there's not that many b buildings here in la that you need to go to if you but knew like, that it was like a skyscraper and you're gonna be in the penthouse would you not go no i mean i would probably get over it but like okay. i i remember you when you would live in new york like you go and you're going to someone like the 55th floor of someone's building i just don't i never want to live in an apartment building like that i can't sure. jump out of like to save myself mm -hmm. just in case like there's a fire or something yeah. and it's just i don't know i think there's this thing in my brain where it's like you human beings are just not supposed to be that yeah. high off the ground a lot like, of people have a fear of heights so it's yeah quite similar. and it's yeah, the elevator is just like i guess a, a form of that but i yeah if there's an if i'm like going to a doctor's office i like will check the suite number and if it's like sweet eight nine three i'm like damn it's on the eighth floor like maybe i'll find a different we're doctor out shorts today <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're we're like find a different doctor's office that's on, okay. on our first floor so you do like avoid i try and avoid elevators okay. like as much as possible we hear that the view up top is just amazing <laughs> do you I have a fear of heights not really okay like no like if if it's not if it's like natural height like at the edge of a cliff or like a hike or a mountain like driving up somewhere yeah then i'm cool but if i'm in like a building and i'm on the 96th floor in like new york city and oh, you yeah. just look down i'm like i well, you're just stuck if something happens you're fucked I, I get that if there's a fire on the 43rd floor yeah you know see you later so that's Ooh. my that's my first rational fear. Well, I'm glad we know that now. That it's, is so it's reasonable. It's reasonable. Oh, but totally. we're gonna work on it. <laughs> Do you? Okay, so you is can it work just on it here. elevators or like any enclosed? It's space? elevators and the other one. I don't want to take up the whole segment sure. here, but subways in New York. Okay, I oh. hate. So you're just like not meant for New York. <laughs> no, I, no, it's it's uh, like there was one one or two, and that's the other fear is like you're in the subway, you're with a bunch of people, and then you're like in between stops. And the subway will just stop. Yeah. And like in between Brooklyn and Manhattan, you're under the water. So mm -hmm. you're underwater mm -hmm. and the subway, the L train will just right. stop. And there's not like, uh, you know, attendants with like walkie talkies and they're, they're not like giving you info. It's just one in the morning. Yep. It's you're, just, stopped, you it's don't just know why. stopped and there's you can't get out if you want to you don't have cell phone service you right. can't even like communicate with another yeah. person like hey i'm stuck let's talk my irrational fear like in the situations like that is also being trapped as strangers yes. and, and being worried that it's going to turn into like a lost situation where <laughs> like these the strangers purge. i'm now going to know for the next two or three years <laughs> like who's the alpha male that's like going to take control like who's going to be my friend like or my buddy movie. yeah like i'll view i'll suddenly view all these strangers as if they're this new cast in my life <laughs> yeah. and yeah. Yep. Who am I going to be friends with? Yeah. And, like, gonna have to, and then like, it starts moving again. You're like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. is it more like enclosed space? You don't like to be enclosed and I trapped. I think so. Yeah. Like, but a like you're, you're being trapped. with planes. Planes, no, not a problem. Huh. That's so interesting. Yeah, I don't know. But subways, oh man, that's it, like, I'd rather get in an elevator and then get in the subway. Wow. Because an elevator, you can at least like, well, if it same, stops, but, really? you, ha you have like, the, the thing about subways is that you don't have cell phone service if you're like trapped and just the ability to like text someone and be like, hey, I'm stuck yeah. in the elevator. Can you call the fire department or like, let me call someone or let me just watch a YouTube video to pass the time. Just like you're trapped underground in a metal tube with people. You don't know that when it's going to move. sounds like you have a form of claustrophobia. Maybe, but it's yeah. not about the tight spaces. I think it's just about like being, being trapped, in like in On a, a plane, place. You're not going to be That's... stopped. You're going to yeah. You're not. Yeah, the plane's going, and there's like pilots. They're communicating. There's other like flight attendants. Or that... You're crashing. 
<laughs> well, that's, you know. But when it stopped, you're yeah. gone. <laughs> so yeah. those are my two, those are my two, okay. like, big have you irrational done, fears. Have you been on the Tower of Terror then? Yeah, I like rides. So that's, like, I like obviously rides. completely different. Yeah. I, because every, not every time, but I wrote it, like, I don't know, a couple years ago, and I went on such a deep dive of, like, what happens if you're on it and the power goes out? Or, like, what happens, like, how is it stopped? Because it's a ride that goes up and down <laughs> yeah. really fast. So I'm like, something's got to happen, but they have so many emergencies. Well, did you see the one that just crashed? Shot In up, right? India? Yeah. Wait, what? It yeah, was yeah, that was yeah. pretty. Ride, oh, and, and it, it fell down? Yeah. Yes. Did they, Fog. did people die? I don't no, know. I think it was like, like 16 that injured really people. Harsh, though. The way they landed, uh, I was like, oh, I know. A little know. bit of a, yeah. Oh, that's but the other the, thing. The, the, okay, these are, that's a fear. That's like a real, I feel like that's a normal. Fear of roller coasters? I mean, I think they're pretty safe for the most part. Yeah, but I feel yeah, like it's, it's not irrational it's, it's a in my thr- opinion. It's a thrill-seeking thing. It, people have fears of doing thrill-seeking things. My, I have an irrational fear of discovering a dead body. That's yeah. Like, hold on. I, I think it's the elaborate, body elaborate. that I am just gonna be like going about my day. <laughs> la 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 la. I could be like in a parking lot, and then I'm like, I walk in between two cars, and there's just a dead body right there. Walking down an alleyway, come across. Excuse me, are you a dead? <laughs> and then like instantly, I have to then contact authorities. Yeah, and they're gonna be like, well, then where were you? Or what? What? Oh, what, what, what what's this? And you're and then, then you're I'm like, be... I think I'm being a great Sumeritan, and they go. I don't know. This isn't really adding up. <laughs> that you were he, you seem to be the only person that was here during this crime. And they go, where? Well, where? Where were you coming before this? And then, th- then this is my second irrational fear: <laughs> is that I have no alibi. <laughs> right. Or, and this could be separate away from the dead body. Is that like someone's your alibi like, is just? Oh, I was just at home. Yeah, but the thing is, nobody can confirm if totally. I was home. So I'm like, I'm contacting Zane, and I'm like, so. <laughs> The point is, uh, I don't know. authorities walk in, they go, where were you, you know, the afternoon of March, March 25th, yeah. March 25th, um, around 3 p.m. And I'm like, I was at home. And then they go, can we get that confirmed? And then you'd be like, yeah, let me ask like Zane. And Zane like goes, I don't know where you were. Ring camera, though. But uh, 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 hopefully so. Hopefully so. But then I just feel like I'm going to be in one of these situations where I'm like, I'm telling the truth. Yeah. And they're going to be like. Now you're sounding fishier. Oh, God. You I had know, a nightmare dream about that. It's, uh, what? Have you ever had, like, a dream or a nightmare about that? <sighs> I had a dream def- last night about a monkey <laughs> <laughs> that was very cuddly, but I was worried it was going to rip my face off. <laughs> okay. Well, now, I, I, now I know why you stay so busy. Yeah. So you can always have an alibi. Yeah, I is try that, to. Is that why you're always out and about? <laughs> I do like going out and about because I love just people, people seeing you alibi. Yeah. Having do you get receipts security. everywhere you go? Like keep them? Yeah, that's like, that's a, a great paper receipt. Yes, that's a great alibi. Well, I'm pretty sure you can look at my credit card transactions. Yeah. No, no, no. But the credit card is just the day. The receipt will have the time and the location. I it's just that's a huge. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I feel as though technology now they could call and track it back. Yeah, they could call the store and say, "Could you pull up this receipt?" They could probably. Get yeah, it. I'm a minimalist. But I married condo a lot of stuff though. out of my life. But that's you never see like a murder like documentary or where they do an investigation. And the way that people track alibis is they have receipts. Oh, I went to the Seven Eleven at six p.m. and got this. Here's my receipt. I wasn't home. Yeah, I guess I just um, don't really think of my life <laughs> the same way Matt does. I'm like, where I'll need an alibi. But now I'll definitely, that'll be something that I now think about all of the time. Hey there, we'll be right back to this episode of Good Influences after our first sponsor, HelloFresh. That is right. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You can skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy. Easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it is America's number one meal kit. And with HelloFresh, you can save time and stress because HelloFresh offers convenient, contact-free delivery right to your doorstep for easy home cooking with the family. The recipes are easy to follow and quick to make with steps and pictures to guide you along the way. HelloFresh offers 50 weekly recipes featuring a range of flavors, cuisines, and ingredients so you'll never get bored. And you can try something new every week. There is something for everyone including weekly low-calorie vegetarian and family-friendly recipes. And HelloFresh is a more sustainable way to eat. HelloFresh is the first carbon-neutral meal kit offsetting 100% of their carbon emissions. As a result, HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% lower than store-bought grocery-made meals. Source is University of Michigan. And by skipping the grocery store and using HelloFresh, you're reducing your food waste by at least 25%. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need with customizable orders 
every week. You can add extra proteins and sides, change up the serving size whenever you have guests, or you can just double up on your favorite recipes so your box works harder for you. We've been members of HelloFresh for a long time. It's a weekly tradition. Matt and I will get in the kitchen. We'll be smelling the spices, chopping the veggies, having a good time, playing some music, and making a delicious meal. We love HelloFresh. So go to HelloFresh.com slash good65 and use the code good65. That's G-O-O-D-6-5 for 65% off plus free shipping. Once again, go to HelloFresh.com slash good65, G-O-O-D-6-5, and use code good65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Check out HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. And now, back to the episode. Do you have your 911 call rehearsed? Sure. Hi. Well, like I was saying... 911, what's your emergency? Hi. Right now, I am at the intersection of Ventura and Coldwater Canyon. I'm right by the Air One, and I'm standing in front of what appears to be a dead body. Sir, uh, have you tried to contact the person who is laying there? Um, yes, I have called out to him multiple times. Sir, sir, you, are you okay? <laughs> they don't seem to be responding. Um, what do you recommend that I do in this situation? Did you find them in this position or were they? Yes, ma'am. I did. Yes, yes, ma'am. Um, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did find them. I'm sorry. I'm laughing, ma'am. Um, this is, just doesn't happen. It's, it's uncomfortable. Gonna... <laughs> it's fine. Um, do, you know, guess... do you know the victim personally? No, ma'am. And and where where were you coming from when you arrived at? This? I was just walking out of the Air One, ma'am. I was getting my Haley Bieber smoothie. For <laughs> <laughs> yes, which is very good, by the way. But enough about that. Um, <laughs> Too much collagen. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, I think very, it'd be good. Yeah. Oh yeah. I try to always like in movies. It's so frustrating when like someone's calling the cops and you're just like fucking tell them the information. They, they want to know your location. You Are call you them. alone? Do you have a weapon? Like yeah. I don't know. Mm. But then do you stay with the body? Uh, can I go? <laughs> they probably say nearby. They would say wait for an officer to arrive and then. Yeah. Uh, and then they could question you. Would you want to report it anonymously or would you want to put your name on? I'm going to keep this Private. between us. Just I would between say us, you, I, I, I would body. keep it anonymous in case they were like killed by someone bad and then you're the witness <gasps> that found them and they're going to oh, find you. But they yeah. wouldn't they have his number? No, not the bad guys. Did they trace it? Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Like if a bad guy killed somebody and they're like, oh, this Matt King found him. Oh. You don't want to be the witness in the New York Times saying Matt King was, you know, picking up his Haley Bieber smoothie. And if you go <laughs> into witness protection, I, I would love to know what it's like to be part of witness protection. Like, We'd really, love to have you on the podcast. So you're allowed to make friends and stuff, but you have to like, you have to have keep a up identity. a lie. Yeah. Do, do you, so do you go to witness protection school? To, like, they get give, your I character think they give down? you training, yeah, and you have an FBI agent that like they assign to check in with you, and you build a story, and you have a job. And I wonder you, if there's many people that that happens. Oh my god, a lot, so, so many. Really? The whole Midwest is filled. That's where they send them all. Do we know everyone people, you know? This, well, yeah, what <laughs> my parents protection. Has there been somebody in your life though where you? Like, do we all know someone who's in witness protection? I don't think well, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. And they also don't send them to big cities because that's how you get refound. Like, it's you like, think they're dead? Yeah, that's the point of witness protection. Is they? No, I mean, like, yeah, but is there someone I know that's part of witness protection? Not in LA. I, like, but I just know. have never known. No, oh, no. Could be in, well, not in Los Angeles, probably. Yeah, not Can in you LA. Have kids, if you're in witness protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go and live a new life. Can you imagine though that like the kids never find out? That, well, like, no, sometimes they do. Like, have you ever seen a movie? <laughs> yeah, uh, they could do twenty three and me and figure out like they you know, twenty three like, and me isn't and about then, witness. No, but I'm saying if like I did it oh, and my I think parents were seventeen were... again. <laughs> oh, I'm, that is such a good movie. <laughs> yeah, seventeen again. And you find out right away. No, but like twenty three and me, if I did it, and I was like, wait. The point is to send you somewhere that you won't get found by the people that you're testifying against. So it's not like if you're in New York, they're going to send you to Miami or Chicago. Like they're going to send you to Alaska or like. Yeah. You know, Wisconsin. somewhere in Wisconsin or Wyoming, like give me Alaska. <laughs> like, <laughs> like we all join it for fun. Yeah. <laughs> See ya, everyone. So oh. crazy. I know. I think it's like a lot of people who it's like a lot of mafia. Yeah, that's I think like the things that we've seen in movies a lot is mafia stuff, but I think also like if you testify against like Oh my god, totally like Yeah, a I don't know like criminal. Yeah, just or like bankers like or whoever. Yeah, you just I mean, thank God we don't have to deal with that. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. Done, We're done. young. Aaron, you got any, like, irrational fears? Oh, yeah. I have, like, the classic. Every time that I go to the bathroom, I have to look into the toilet because I'm 
one of those people that's afraid that something's going to come out of the oh, toilet. Like a snake or a spider or something? Yeah. yeah. In the toilet. Mm -hmm. I'm similar with snakes where I always think like a snake has somehow snuck into the house, gone all the way up like in my closet, and I'm just going to be like oh, going yeah. through it. It's just like a Quentin Tarantino <laughs> movie. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Where? What? And like, I don't, like, I'm oh. like, oh. And then I'm like, help. <laughs> oh. I'm like, damn it. This is how I go. Yeah. Just so, out of nowhere. Out of no, mine's yeah. the toilet. One time I did open the toilet and there was a spider in it, like a little oh, tiny one. Yeah, but like but that's why like I'll always look. I'm ugh. so freaked out. Oh, because wow. I guess well we're guys, we like we're Jeez. looking at it. Yeah, yeah like we're yeah. You can sit down and pitch black. Like in the middle of the night, I won't even turn a light on. I'll just sit down. But I will think about it. Yeah. I feel like I'm never consciously like, I wonder if there's a snake, but if I sit down and not look, oh, it's I, in oh, my head. Every single time that I That sounds use the exhausting. Bathroom. Well, and now too, like people are posting on TikTok like snakes coming out of like shower drains. I'm like, oh, well, if they're going up that. Going up There's my There's no way snakes are climbing through toilets. I don't think it's physically possible, at least in America. Well, are you a plumber? No, but I've seen <laughs> but eels. I like your eels. <laughs> eels, like a long eel. <laughs> what about a shark? <laughs> yeah, like even a if it's like shark. a garden snake, <laughs> you know, like spiders, like in anything toilet. in it. I mean, that is scary, but I just don't think it happens. Is there and is has there been a recorded case in, um, in America of a like snake it, yes. crawling up a toilet yes. in America? Yes. No Look up way. snake coming out of toilet on Google Images <laughs> and they're in America. Down. In America with modern plumbing, like recently, I don't think I think that this oh, may probably some parts in Reno. <laughs> just some in random Reno? Like, sort of like I yeah. think there'd be like a snake would come out of yeah. a toilet like in Reno. Tree? I think yeah. this sound. I think this is like a, Texas. Texas man finds a snake in his toilet. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that sounds like yeah they all left a snake in there like, <laughs> there's a snake no, but in this my is, if he finds a snake in his toilet it doesn't mean it came up through how would it get well, in there listen, listen. it just slid Hop through his, his bathroom Guys, and then went in animals.howstuffworks.com says so someone said can snakes really come up a toilet pipe and they said yes but it's not common sometimes snakes will swim up through the pipes or enter a bathroom through an open window or door coil uh -huh. up sorry I gotta click the article now it's just like a little thing on google um well no i don't know where i was oh my god the freaking <laughs> just the image no. of it it's a little head <laughs> ew it's just little a little head, head in the toilet. <laughs> um sorry i don't know where this was in the article and i have to scroll okay well the answer is okay it is not common but yeah. i also think if... neither are elevators crashing mike okay? yes they are <laughs> not crashing but like Getting, getting stuck. stuck and i know it's it, uh, hopefully you know no, but that's why it's irrational i've also seen like there's a video a while back about like a guy who got trapped in an elevator in like the 90s before he had a cell phone and he was there for like over 48 hours oh, yeah God. i've seen a, i've seen a time lapse of that yeah dude. that's the one i'm talking no. about because yeah. he went to like his office and it was closed for the weekend and he just went to go get something and then the elevator just stopped between two floors and he was just there until Monday morning. He had to like pee came. out the thing. He, yeah. he, I remember he like opens up his wallet and just goes through everything because he's so freaking bored in there. Yeah. And he just has to like read and look at something. Oh, um, I don't he, know like, what time he, like, it is. He like the door open to pee. just to like pee and then it automatically closes again. I don't know. Wow. Fuck that. Can you get some money? What? Can I don't, get, can I, yeah, sue? that's the other thing. Is there's, no, there's no upside to getting stuck in an elevator. It's not like you get hit by the school, you know, the yeah. college bus and then you get free tuition or something, but... That's like, yeah. I mean, there's no upside to a snake licking my <laughs> butthole either. Or slithering in your butthole. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's irrational. I was, when I was a kid, I was always convinced that somebody was going to break in in the middle of the night, kidnap me, and throw me in a lake. Like, that was my whole. Oh. I, would, I would be laying there just That's like so waiting specific. to hear glass break. Is like, there a nearby really? lake? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Lake Zerinsky, the one I got in trouble with at school, if you guys oh, remember that. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's a big ass lake, but I thought they were going to like like put me in a bag. Like Elizabeth Smart kind of shit? Uh, yeah, I guess. Mm. But I was so relieved when winter came around because I was like, okay, it's all frozen. Oh, so, <laughs> like, so they. I would literally be like, they can't kidnap me. <laughs> well, they could have thrown me in a lake. No lakes. <laughs> I don't so know if it's it, irrational, but it's just dramatic. Do you still have this fear when you're home? Like, is someone going to break into my house and throw me into a lake? <laughs> no, I don't think about it anymore. But, like, breaking in, but I feel like that's a normal fear. I was having yeah. a rational fear, like, when I go to, like, performances or plays or something, they're going to ask me to, like, come up. Oh, to perform, I to perform like, to hey, like... we we are like, one of our oh. actors just got sick. Can you just <laughs> can you learn these lines and just get it together? And I'm gonna be like, oh gosh, <laughs> and I have to just go on stage and just like, <laughs> like you're playing Andrew Garfield, Tick Tick Boom. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Something like that where it's this last minute. 
we need an understudy. Can you do it? <laughs> <Are> <laughs> the man in the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I in having to. I think you could do it. You think so? Or it's like an improvised thing. And you, hey, we know you did speech <laughs> and debate at UT, and uh, we just need you to improvise for an yeah, hour. Or just someone trying to rely on my strengths, thinking like. Oh, well, you can do it, right, Matt? And then you're being like, I guess. And then you disappointing them. Huh. Kind of a thing. Be real. Oh, is it be off. real? Yeah. Is it on me, too? Oh, we should do something for the queen. <laughs> no. Oh, I didn't get a be real. Oh, yes, I did. I'm it's time shocked to be I don't real. have it. I'm like, usually yeah. on top you of haven't gotten it yet? Mine weren't posting no, for an it. entire like, week. <gasps> and then I had to log back out. Oh my god. Does it, does it take out the same time? Yeah, but it, we can't, you can't see yours. Sorry guys, a little break for being real. Dude, that was also one of my pet hot. peeves that I didn't mention. What? Was um, <laughs> that if I'm like doing something really fun and then my be real goes off after, like immediately after <laughs> I like get home from being with people or right before I'm about to like leave the house to go do something fun. I it's wish like, I didn't have the selfie camera because I don't know how to. Hey, Matt's always good. Smile, guys. Did you get my stuff? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just digesting. <laughs> um, that's really a, quite a specific fear. The lake. Yeah, the the fact that yeah. you didn't care after it became winter because oh well they're not going to throw me in the lake <laughs> no, now it's frozen. No, it would be like obviously. my months of being relieved. I'd be like oh it's frozen over. Did I you see a movie it. or like a Disney show or something? <laughs> Maybe that, a I Disney know, show. Like, where people like, <laughs> I don't know. A Disney original movie. <laughs> <laughs> Trapped in the lake, yeah. starring Shia LaBeouf. Oh my god! Yeah, no, it was a big one. I mean, I'm also I, worried like that I have some like distant relative, like uh, a brother or sister that like my dad had with another woman who like I don't know who's going to come and be like, "Hey, your dad pays for everything, and like I'm your long lost brother," kind of a thing. Whoa. Have you ever had a conversation that to split with your dad? My, my, what? Have you ever had a I would uh, no, but I know, but my I have a friend from high school who when he was 20 when he was around 23 he got a message from a guy on facebook and was saying hey i'm your dad like he's basically his dad cheated on his mom had an affair and they kept it a secret for over like 20 years Just had a whole uh, second family had a whole t had another another son or whatever wasn't that like kind of like what josh peck like he <gasps> his dad had like a whole family or like had a wife and kids and then i think that like he had an affair with Josh's mom, and then was like, "I don't want anything to do with the kid." But then, oh. like, I think later do we in life, does the public know about this? Yeah, I, I read his, like book. his book. Oh, take off! I, I was like, I'm, "Sorry, Josh, I don't I'm, want to be like <laughs> airing out some dirty no, laundry." I believe that's, Just, I believe that's what's that. happened. I think he like told his mom that he like was single or something. Oh and, wow! But then, like, imagine finding out that Josh Peck is your brother. Like, after, I mean, I don't yeah. think that they ever yeah, met or anything. Yeah, it out, yeah. But, like, imagine not knowing your whole life that Josh Peck's your brother and he's just, like, thriving and then, like, reading the book or something and then you're like, wait. Yeah. Oh, That sounds yeah. like my dad. <laughs> dad? No, but apparently oh. he's no oh, longer yeah. alive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was what I was going to say. At the beginning of the pandemic, when it was, like, lockdown, that was a big thing with, like, guys who had second families where they're always traveling and on the road. Oh. Like it was really easy to have a second family and then lockdown happened oh. and like so many families got f broken up because hey, the really? dad couldn't get back. Like they each thought that they were away on business uh. and it's like, well, now you're just stuck in one of the families and the, you can't get back to your other family. Ooh, how and it, and it was so like, fucked up. How many men out there? I'm sorry I'm saying men. Who knows? Well, um, well it's are, easier for a guy to have a second family because if you're pregnant with another yeah. person, yeah. like, correct. How and many men out there just, have second yeah, families that I think are keeping it a secret? I think a, a lot. Well, How? let's do a poll. <laughs> hey guys, are you <laughs> a man poll. with a second family? <laughs> I'll always love a good little family twist or drama yeah. Oh, yeah. where you're like what a second family that is I don't know how, how how do you do it how do you juggle that I don't get it like, uh, hey I gotta go to the office you know up in Vancouver this weekend not I mean, even like a second family like just like if you're in a relationship with someone and they have like a secret partner or like you're cheating on them like that alone I couldn't handle it like but with kids yeah I don't know <laughs> Just coming home with birthday presents for the wrong kid at the wrong time. Like, you gotta be. That's like a mental issue. Yeah. Yeah. That's to a be lot able. Of stress. But also like pre, you know, internet, social media times, you could have another oh family God. like seven miles down the road, yeah. and you would never know. That's true. You know. Yeah. Just hey, I'm going to, uh, going with the boys for the weekend, going fishing, and you're just with their other family every weekend. 
Ew. But then the lockdown happens and they're just like, fuck. I have one. Yes. Okay, anytime I'm like leaning against a wall or <laughs> sitting. Here we go. go. No, I just, you're, you're hilarious, Carly. Oh my God, thank you. Or like sitting on the floor with my back against a wall. I'm always afraid and it's, I'm always thinking it when I'm in this position that something's going to protrude through the wall and like spear, spear my head. Like final destination. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm so scared of it. Oh no. That, yeah. like, right now, like the TV is just going to burst through and no, it, I'm fine now. But if my head was like leaning against a wall, I'd be like, something could just go through the wall and go through my head. You, you want to know a crazy story? Yeah, I do. This was my, uh, this happened to my, my best friend's wife when she was 16 or 17 years old. She was uh, hanging out at her, like her girlfriend's place. They were upstairs in a room. They were chilling on their bed, just sitting there on their phones, watching TV. Okay. Then suddenly she just like kind of looks down at her phone and she realizes she realizes it's like exploded. She's like, this is kind of recent. She's then? like, then suddenly is like, what? has happened like she feels like the past two like minutes she can't remember suddenly she's just in this moment where she's okay. like looking at her phone and she goes did something happen what's going on and she's like in shock and can't figure out what's going oh, no. on and then she looks at her friend and goes look what happened on my phone and her friend goes oh my god you're bleeding blood is coming all out of her body and she and she doesn't know gone. what's happened what had happened the bedroom next door of her fr of her friend her brother's bedroom he was in there cleaning his gun <gasps> that's my other fear cleaning his gun and then yep. accidentally shot the bullet it went through the other room went right through her her abdomen exploded in her phone and she realized but the thing is she was like what she, she never she realized, did not she, realized. The thing is, it was it's like probably so shocking. It was they so sh when like her friend didn't realize. Well, then she realized, oh my gosh, you've been shot, and because she didn't realize she'd been shot, her body you immediately well, yeah. go into shock. No, I know Your her. pain, and all she can do was remember looking at her phone, and then was like a bleeding, and couldn't figure out what had happened. She'd been shot, and then it missed her like vital organs oh by just like inches. Dude. But randomly coming through, That's you don't know I think who's about, in this building. I know. Like, right I think there. about that too, especially at our old apartment. I would think that. They're like a bullet's gonna come through the window. We had weirdos or the wall. Like, living. This is what like don't fucking clean your gun in your bedroom. I know. Especially That's loaded. Just text, like, what fucking is Texas wrong 101. With I know. That. Was she okay? Yeah. Now, oh. well, now she has like scarring and and stuff in her what abdomen. A fucking. Idiot. When I was but little, wild story. My parents woke me up in the middle of the night and they're like, we have to go into the basement because I guess like police came to our door and they went to everyone's door in the neighborhood, like in our little street. And they're like, I, the, the neighbor directly across the street, his son was holding him at gunpoint. And so we had to go in the basement to like oh evade Avoid any the... bullets or whatever. Yeah. I feel like Whoa. that's what started my, cause I, I'm always scared of that too. It's like, like something going to the wall. Through? Oh, yes. wow. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm on an airplane, I think of another plane colliding. I think that oh, too. I do that yo, too. I've seen some videos, <laughs> like the oh, simulations yeah. of one. Oh, simulations. Of, of like real... Com no. Yeah. Hey, hey, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me make this a little better for you. Every time you see a video of something that went wrong with an airplane, it means that that's not going to happen again yeah, yeah, because yeah. they spend so much time, money, and effort to make sure that it doesn't happen again. So, like, every day that goes by, flying becomes safer. So, if you see a video of... <laughs> How about that with elevators, too, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> There's not a big elevator industry where, like, billions of people are using elevators every day. Yeah, and they're, they're not, like, constantly updating yeah, elevators. Yeah, dude. Or you see the thing, like, last updated September 1993, and I'm like... <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not hopping this death box. You yeah. should make like a TikTok account of you like trying to conquer your fear of elevators. We're like, hey guys, I've been always scared of elevators. You guys are to ride this what? elevator with me. And you're like, no, but people have stutters. But I don't think that it would change my fear because every elevator is a different experience. Totally. Everyone is going <laughs> to do the old timey like rickety ones. Of, like, I actually, the I trust elevator, that more. Like, boy. I would trust that more. I trust. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know. I, like if there's like the guy like what floor, sir, and then he does the thing and he press. I would trust that way more. Whoa, because to me, I'm trust... like this is from the 1700s. I know, but I crash. feel like they were like more no prideful in their mm -hmm. work back then. Now it's just like some guy named Bob who's just like, all right, I guess that one's done. Moving on to the next. <laughs> job and i'm like i don't know yeah
I'm pretty sure when I was in Alabama, I've, the hotel we were staying at, there was like the original elevator was in it or something. Like you couldn't like one? use it, but it was just there like in the hallway and you could get in it. I've always buttons. wanted to do the elevator at the uh, the Bradbury building downtown. Why? Well, that's Not the Cecil Hotel really... elevator. What? Not the Cecil Hotel Specific elevator. elevator. I bet the Cecil Hotel. <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to do like that. Because that's like the elevator she was in. Remember the but footage? The one at the Bradbury <laughs> is like really cool like, and like, like exposed. It's all old timey uh, and stuff. That I fucking hate that. I, I went to one. No. I think it was like in Prague or something. And I feel like it just like rotated and you like hopped in it. What? What? Yeah, I forgot. Oh, wait, what it is was. it the one that's like constantly moving yeah. and you got to hop in at yeah. a certain time? It's oh. so dangerous. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Life on the end. <laughs> Dang. Also, what I was thinking, too, is, like, I, I'm less scared of, like, a big corporate, like, finance building where there's, like, six elevators and a bunch of people going in and out all the time. Because then if one stops, it's going to be, like, really apparent. And, like, even if yeah. for whatever reason or have cell phone service, like, sure. someone will come and try and save you. But, like, just some random, like, like at the airport when you have to like go into the parking garage elevators and yeah. you're just fucking it's all concrete you can't i don't know yeah um, no i get I'm it i'm harping on it but no i i understand i'll be fear. taking the I stairs like a, when i ride in elevators i think of stuff so yeah. do I. but it does not enough to prevent you from riding in them no like mm -hmm. it, do, it doesn't occupy space in my head like leading up to the event but then when i'm in it i'm like god it's so hot in here what if it just stopped and then i got stuck or like the Empire State, where you take it all the way to the top. I've done mm -hmm. that, the World Trade Center. You have? Yeah, I've done it twice. What? It's it, it feels like t for me, it's like taking drugs. Like when I go, into it, <laughs> like, like I am full blown tripping. Because also, Whoa. when you take the the World Trade Center, it's actually a real that you can go all the way to the top, tallest building in New York, and it's really cool because it's a whole tourist event. But the elevator itself is like a room that's like this big. It's like huge ceilings and the entire walls are all hd screens oh, and what wow. happens is as you're going yeah. up you see like the growth of manhattan over time oh my god that's so cool so you're like you've never this, seen that no <laughs> I, I feel like i see it like see on, on tiktok too, like yeah. once every three months <laughs> I don't know. I think you're this like into that kind of stuff. My bad. Sorry. Oh, that's funny. Um, <laughs> um, so that, but then, but then you're, never mind. yeah. I don't know. Then you're up there, and it's like insane. But I feel like because it's such a tourist attraction that if there was a problem, again, someone okay. would come and rescue me. But yeah, not not just like some at, you know at LAX at two in the morning. I don't want to take the parking <laughs> One of those garage. Weird that's ones. Fair. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. No, I get that. I just and need to be able to get out. Like, I need to be able to see the sun. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. God, I just had an irrational fear and I forgot it. I, I was have one. Okay. On to it. I have an irrational fear that when I get, like, prescribed medicine that I've never taken before, it'll, like, make me worse. Or, like, not even prescribed. You know, like, sometimes people are like, oh, like, take a Xanax to calm down. And I'm like, okay, well, I've never taken one. Mm. Like, what if it affects me in a way that, like, I didn't that's like opposite yeah or like oh you want me to take it in space like in well not space that's what i call it when i fly i'm like oh i'm in space uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's xanax an i'll do it anytime <laughs> oh i know <laughs> no but like I'm, that, I'm using that as an example okay. like i got antibiotics the other week and it was just like i knew i got them so i felt better about them but i never took them because i'm like well what if then i have to take them for 10 days and all of this it's like i feel like medicine will make me worse that's, yeah, I get the Xanax thing. I would be scared to take anything yeah. like that. Well, if you if you start antibiotics, you definitely have to finish it. No, and I understand how medicine works. Okay, I'm just saying it's like she then doesn't want to be in that then position. You can sue if something goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, she can always sue. Win. It's a weird thing because it's like, what if I don't like the way I feel when mm -hmm. I take that medication? And that's what I oh, basically like. Okay. I don't down. know. That I'm like, sense. let's cure let's things up and it. trust the medicine because then then I my fear would get worse. I'm like, well, you didn't take the medicine. You didn't take the medicine. Yeah. I'd rather just trust it than It's not that I don't trust it. It's just like when you know with Xanax, it's like I don't have to take it. Yeah. So it's like, okay, well right. what if right. the Xanax heightens my anxiety? You know what I mean? Well that's, that's not shit. Me. that'll make you like I want to take one to just see what it feels like. Well, I, I, I looked up irrational fears, like the medical names for them. So I want to read you the name and see if we can guess what the irrational fear is based on oh, the okay. name and oh, then have a discussion God. about it. So okay. it's a true phobia. Yeah. I saw one yesterday that was literally like 25 letters. That's probably what the one I'm about to read. 
Hippo. Yeah, it's Potomonstrosesquipedaliophobia. Yep, that was the one. It is the fear of long words. What? Hilarious. That's Isn't that insane? Fucking ridiculous. Like, it's... It, oh, that is a pet peeve. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, it's not a pet peeve because it doesn't happen often, but, like, that... Something like just that like, just, like, pisses annoying me off. To you. Like, someone who's like, I'm scared, it's a long word. Piss then, off. You, like, go, like... No, not that. The fact that they named it something that's yes, gonna trigger the person yes, who's afraid yes. of it. Like, mm-hmm. what the fuck is wrong with you? That's crazy. It doesn't even sound real. <laughs> um, it sounds like something like The Onion made. Pag- yeah. Paganophobia. What is it? P o g o n o. Pogonophobia. Fear of pogo Pagon. Fear, fear of different languages. Nope. Fear of horses. <laughs> I have to sneeze. Is that you. it? Fear of Thank sneezing? You. No. Oh, fear of religion? It's the fear of beards. This phobia is usually developed in people who have, who have had traumatic encounters with bearded like, individuals. Like, just say beardophobia. <laughs> yeah. Like, why Make are it we, easy. like, making up words that like don't even language. correlate? Because it's um, Latin. It's a medical term. Whatever. But a fear of beards is a pretty interesting like concept yeah. to be afraid of like someone who has a beard. Like, uh oh, Santa Claus. Yeah, it's that's kind of Some a bummer. Of our it's Claus. like very interesting. Cause I feel like, you know, there's stuff that I'm afraid of that's like, okay, like you're not gonna die or you're not gonna like do whatever. And I hear people say things that they're afraid of and I'm like, that's silly. Right. But then right. it's like th- put take something that like you elevators yeah it's not silly to me exactly it's not so silly it's like, to me okay yeah <laughs> yes. okay guys so like, okay, i'm gonna take the stairs <laughs> <laughs> we literally like we closed the elevator we're like what is he doing <laughs> i'm always scared of the escalators though that little like oh. last step oh, where like, it's oh, that, that metal sheet yeah. like i just i like leap. <laughs> i do like a little yes. like peter skip, pan leap yeah. and just like <laughs> skip whoop. yes yes yeah. Did you did you watch that? I, I did like, see the video. Okay, we yeah. don't need to talk about okay. the video. Horrifying, but I always think about it when I'm riding an escalator. No. Also, I saw a TikTok of some woman who was wearing like a crock and a sock, and she was like, "Well, just walking through wherever she was and rode the escalator, and then pans down to her foot, and the escalator ripped the whole front of her crock off and her sock." What? Is she okay? Yeah, she was fine. It didn't like get her toe. But she was like, I don't even know how it happened. Jesus. How are people fucking up on escalators? It's the easiest. It's like a damn Dr. Seuss. Well, she was on a walk in a sock and a crock. <laughs> and then yeah. something gave her a shock. <laughs> <laughs> the I love I love escalators. That's I wish all elevators were escalators. I used to have anxiety on escalators. Do you remember that? <laughs> okay, I like, ride escalators. I enjoy, like it's a. I wouldn't say I love escalators. I love. They're like I a ride. Like, it's like a little ride. I don't like how they look. I think they could make them look prettier. Cuter. Yeah, they're kind of yeah, like this weird, old, ugly, like brutalist thing. industrial. Yeah. Yeah, just these teeth. Yeah. Like, never, uh, <laughs> it's just like yeah. God, I, mean, just all, I just think about how dirty they are. Like the the two the black bars. Yeah. Like they're so dirty in the way that like if you touch it, you're like, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like skip yeah. skin down it. I oh, and know. the ones at Universal are the worst. If you if you go to Universal Studios and go oh, to like so the lower level, there's like four or five of oh, them. Yeah. But they're literally like a mile long. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna oh, pay to like go three. to Universal just to ride the escalators. I, I, that was I was so thrilled when I got there and I was like, <laughs> oh, not an elevator in sight, and it's all escalators. I love escalators. Oh my I was the opposite. I had so much anxiety riding escalators for like a year. Why? You think you're gonna fall over and uh, die? <laughs> well, one time I was going down an escalator and I got the same feeling I got when I my driving anxiety started where it felt like I was like about to pass out or something and I couldn't let go of that. So like every time I'd get on an escalator, I would like I, I remember one time I was going down. I just like sat down, and I don't remember sitting down. Oh. You should I, make like a t-shirts that say like Escalator Fan Club, like Escalator <laughs> like, Enthusiast. I love Escalator. Yeah, I really escalator do. Fan Enthusiast for people like what is that? It's like a fan club of people who love. Also, escalators. like at the mall, like girl, when you're a kid going to the mall, I don't know. I just have a really nice. So like at the mall, you would ride the escalator in like Christmas time and just see all of the that's true like, yeah, Christmas like decorations cinematic. there's like yeah escalators are just I like the the walkways at the mall or walk, at the airport or, or, yeah like like I like had a penguin exhibit you just go down that shit and like <laughs> penguin exhibit <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know what penguin exhibit you're talking about it's some uh, zoos and stuff they like, have, like the an airport. escalator around it have you ever been in a funicular what is that it's like um you know, oh, like a, like a, a like a sombrero, yeah. like a sombrero kind of ride. 
What? No, it's like <laughs> it's like an you know like <laughs> a- elevator escalator adjacent, but it's like typically from ones I've been in, they're like clear and you'll like ride it to like the top of a mountain or something. Let me show oh, you. Oh, like a tram? For sure, yeah. Oh, I will tell you elevators in like a mall that are glass and you can that. see i will take one of those okay okay because then i can be like help me if yeah, you know, yeah. get stuck Ridiculous. uh like a tram sure yeah yeah, yeah that's like, all right. a- like angel's flight downtown there's one downtown yeah. in la yeah, yeah, yeah. i, I like took that. patricia on one you of those you wouldn't mind that no that's fine i think if he can see other people if outside, i can like get fine. if i can get out of it like i just don't want to be how do you I but feel like this see is him like, panicking. I think in the, in the glass elevator. Yeah, I would like. I would start okay. taking my clothes off or like do something crazy, crazy. to get attention. If like taking your clothes off, because if, if it gets stuck, <laughs> get, stay away from that man. <laughs> He's losing it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I just don't want to be trapped. <laughs> this whole episode is just about elevators. <laughs> <laughs> elevators. That's a title. Elevators. Yeah. <laughs> do you wait? Do you dislike escalators? No, I don't dislike them. I just don't love them. You don't get excited them. about them? No. Oh, I interesting. Feel you you probably like, oh. feel relieved when you yes. see one. Yeah. That's why yes. you're excited. Do you want to... Oh, I have one more. more. I don't okay. know if these are... If this is that, that interesting. Sit... sit a longa phobia sit a longa phobia Sitting too long. Uh, uh, the <laughs> fear of cotton balls. Oh, oh, I hate cotton balls. Are you really? serious? Oh, oh my it god! Is, it is rumored that Michael Jackson a cotton ball. Really? Dude, it is rumored I that Michael get, Jackson had the same. If you gave me a cotton ball and if I had to like tear it apart, I get goosebumps <laughs> all up and down my Weird. body. What? I haven't. I've forgotten how much of a fear I have of them because I don't touch cotton balls as much as like I used to the for arts and crafts person. as a kid as a kid I had yeah. a real bit like if there were is co- there like a sound that is happens? it's all of the fibers so how do you uh, feel for- about fiberglass I just, just try to avoid touching fiberglass. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? No, I, mean, I didn't know like, you know, some people just have it like visually I didn't know if like you saw it and it would like trigger like <laughs> okay I can I can look at a cotton ball and I can be like See, it's like you know, when, like you you're about to put in a sour candy. Sure. Yeah. Your mouth is already like, yeah. here we go. Yeah. Cotton balls. I I can sense it, and then when I pull it apart, you feel all of the fibers. Okay. Like, like it's not satisfying. Like uh, no. It's so satisfying. I, yeah, I, I love that all me, day. It's like I like how it's like a little uh, tough, and you hear the yeah, noise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that sends. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, that's I will so... get goosebumps. I can't all believe this is a real own. thing. I know. I've never heard of that yeah, before. Yeah, I used to. I used to actually say that a lot about. I have a fear of cotton balls, but I just I haven't touched one in probably ten years. So you can get a shirt that says "Sit Along a Phobia Fan Club." Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Tris, <laughs> Cot- I want to be like Cotton Ball Haters Club. <laughs> <laughs> like- <laughs> Fuck cotton balls. <laughs> this will be our first merch, you guys. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck cotton, cotton balls. <laughs> it would just be a crazy They're so innocent. Shirt. They're just little cotton balls. They're so cute yeah. and innocent. Yeah. <laughs> that could be, we, we can make merch that's like episode related. Yeah. That'd be good. Fuck, Fuck cotton, cotton balls. We need, we need to start uh, a merch line. Yeah. I feel like we've ha- made enough episodes right now. Okay. A merch line. A merch um, line. I, yeah. We'll talk after. Okay. Shh. Okay, let me try and pronounce this the right the right way. Triskaidekaphobia. Scared of triscuits. <laughs> I that, no, I literally thought the same thing in my head, but I know it's probably like fear of chairs, bees, mm, diamonds, fear nope. of beds, jewelry. There Tris. is a slight clue in the first three letters. Triske. Three. The number three. Lines. Fear of triangles. Close. It's fear of the number thirteen. Oh, oh, oh my god! It is a spooky and Can't unlucky number in society, and people are like genuinely will avoid the number thirteen. That's like when the Taylor Swift fans get too like clinically psychotic, and then they like see the number thirteen years later after they've recovered. They have that. Oh, they're like, oh, yeah. I Wait, forgot. what? What happened? Taylor Swift is very much correlated with the number thirteen. Oh, so yeah. her birthday's on the thirteenth, right, mm-hmm. of December. So it's like, you know, like Swifties, they're like basically like QAnon. Okay. Yeah. So it's like when, once they've gone too deep and like they hit the psychotic break part and like have to be clinically. <laughs> Wait, this happens? I think he doesn't get the 13 thing, yeah, right? I, no, I don't are, get the Taylor Swift the, fans are clinically. Because just, if you, if you're on Swift talk, like we've talked about this on our, we talked about this on our numerology. podcast. No. Yeah, she's she is into she has said that she's into numerology, but it's specifically the number 13. Like her new album comes out on October 21st, two plus 
or the 10 plus 1 plus 2 is 13. It's like it's stuff like that. She does a lot of that. It's like hidden in albums. Sometimes people will find it and it'll correlate to something else. It's just all about the uh, number yeah, 13. I'm, I'm familiar with it. I actually it. had a, I feel in high school, I had her, she had merch and it was like this brown leather bracelet and said Taylor Swift 13. It's and there's the that. movie The Number 13 with like Jim Carrey. That's a big like numerology movie yes. where it's like Seven. a horror movie. Seven. Isn't it like, which is not 13, but I feel like I'm it's sure. kind of like. <laughs> corny when buildings don't have the 13th floor yes that's insane what are you two giggling about yeah what'd you say? i was like oh there's a jim carrey movie the number 13 she goes seven and i go seven. that is a movie and not well, he was like oh it's a movie about like numbers correlation and i was like seven he was like yeah that's but about, that's not the number 13 that's about the seven deadly oh, sins no, 13 is Aside from Taylor Swift, like that is also my favorite number. Um, and I agree. Like, I'm not scared by the number 13. It seems like a haunt, like a myth. Like, we but got there, married it on the is 13th. Crazy that it's crazy that there are buildings that don't have a 13th yeah, floor. It's insane. No, yeah. it's so corny. That's like, a Mitch Hedberg joke. People on the 12th floor, you know what floor you're really on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, 14. On the 14th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People on the 14th floor, you know what floor you're really on. That's if you funny. jump out of a building on the 14th floor, you will die earlier. Oh my God. Damn. Because you're one floor up. Right. Yep. Um, R.I.P. Mitch Hedberg and the Queen of England. Who's oh, yeah. Mitch? The Mitch Hedberg? jumped off the... No, Mitch Hedberg was a comedian. No, he's a comedian. Oh. This, this, these are bits of his. Oh, he's one of the best. Yeah. Um, like so, a one-liner comedian. I don't like comedian. funny stuff, so... <laughs> I hate laughing. <laughs> that, that's actually a fear. What? Funny. Fear of laughing? Hophophobia. Lollophobia. 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 We are like delirious. Yeah. <laughs> Was that the last one? We yeah. could get into fans phobias. Is it hot in here? Or is it just I me? feel like it's getting <laughs> a little toasty. Me? It's getting a little but... warmer. Maybe because I we... think ever since we started talking about the number thirteen, like. It's we're haunted yeah. now. Wait, do you guys have superstitions? Mm. Like um, have... I touch I touch the exterior of a plane every time I enter it. Oh, Ever since you told corny. me that, oh, I see. I, what'd you say? Because corny. <laughs> corny. <laughs> corny. corny. No, be like I love to. Sh I just like to Give one slap because I. It's cool knowing you that like that, that exterior, <laughs> that exterior will I be. I know. I know. I guess it's I'll weird. Be flying through the sky and just knowing that I touched it Which, feels like, good. Which advertisement do you touch? The I was guy. just no. I don't. Uh, 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 wait, the points guy is Starbucks. on airplanes. Yeah, you know, like when you walk in sometimes and they have all the like advertisements right there. No, he's or, like, saying the on the plane itself. Yeah, the outside, points guy the outside. sponsors outside. Of, I've never no, seen like, that. Or like, the... I think she's just giving an example. Pepsi. Yeah, like Pepsi. Or... I've never seen an advertisement on the side of an or airplane. Whatever. It's like little tiny thing, like this big, like yeah. a little stamp, and then there's usually like, like the a Wi Fi. Of them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Guys, we're getting a little too specific. Anyways, here. sorry. <laughs> You're taking everything so literally today. <laughs> hey, seven. <laughs> <laughs> I always gotta Not just 13. tap that side, and I always get like a nod from the flight attendants because they also see a they're lot like, of other people do right, it. Yeah, they're, they're probably like, like I'm scared losers. to touch the airplane. <laughs> But I, I, was like, I like just kind of slapping it. Give her a little love. But then I'm time. always worried that they're going to be like, what did you put on? Like, yeah. put a tracker? On a, a, neat an tag? a neat teen sticker? <laughs> <laughs> a neat teen sticker? My air tag. <laughs> <laughs> a Nicktoon sticker? Neat dude. Neat dude. It's oh, our God. friend's brand. We can't even get into it. <laughs> it's just too okay, long. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Fan submissions. It was actually on, I had a neat dude sticker on my iPad that I found. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> Now remember, these are people's actual fears. So we're not. You know, so oh, wait, people. are we not allowed to laugh? We, no, we are. Okay. Okay. It's, okay. it's for entertainment. Yeah, this is okay. entertainment. I'm laughing at I'm my own. I'm only saying it because the first one I need to give you a little uh, okay, oh, no. reminder. For, <laughs> for some reason growing up and to this day, I am so scared of skunks. That's fair. As a child, I always thought skunks were an everyday problem I was going to have to be cautious about <laughs> day after day. And I was absolutely terrified of them and getting sprayed. I'm not sure why I thought that, but I genuinely thought they would haunt me the rest of my life. And I still become paralyzed with fear whenever I see them. Has anyone been sprayed by a skunk? No, uh, like my dog. Your dog. Do my, really? Uh, our dog yeah. that we had. Not Paris, but like in Massachusetts. Oh my God. Yeah, a couple of years ago, yeah, we, I lived with 
a roommate and he had a dog got sprayed and it just stunk up the entire house. I like, I like the smell of a... No, I'm kidding. After a while, I know what you mean, though. No, yeah. Like, it's like kind of like it. a weird like gasoline smell. It's like, like eraser, weed. It's yeah. all the same. It's like, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be like up all up in it but like when it's in the air i'm kind of like like oh. poop smells worse than skunk yeah smell. yeah yes. i agree you know? yeah. i think it depends <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends on the kind of poop <laughs> like I'm, Honestly, i'd rather <laughs> i'd rather smell a skunk than be in like a porta potty yeah yes. but yeah. like i don't know like but your own poop is never that bad yeah in my opinion. But, 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 so, like rotten milk smells worse than a skunk yeah so then your fridge can worse smell worse if something's going bad in there I, this is a i mean this is like a strange fear i don't think that it's irrational it's definitely rational but n it's not an everyday problem you're going to be encountering like but she yeah. gets paralyzed yeah like she probably walks outside and is like hope i don't see a skunk today and is like probably thinking like oh my god what if i see a skunk Maybe just move seems... somewhere where they they're not indigenous. That'd be a really great excuse of why you couldn't come into work for something. Like I got sprayed by a skunk. Oh, yeah. I reek. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, and then you like, go the whole that'd week be off. like oh crazy. Yeah. Like, this, yeah. Well, now they'd be like work from home then. Yeah, work from home. Stay home. Like you're not sick, but you. I like I reek. It will be bad for our business. Yeah. I feel like I haven't seen a skunk in a really long time. I, I didn't even know there were skunks in California. Are there? I had no. Yeah. I didn't know there were. I don't now. think I've ever seen one in real life before. I've never like just cartoons. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I've smelled them, but I don't think I've ever like seen one with my own two eyes. Oh, oh. I've seen one. It was, I've so seen cute. so many. What's skunks. a pole cat? A what? A pole cat? A pole cat? I don't know. Every time we would be driving, you smell skunk. My dad would be like a pole cat. Maybe he's calling it like a cat that can climb poles. <laughs> What's can a, skunks climb poles? Can you Google what pole cat means? Um, a weasel like. It, it kind of looks like a skunk. Oh. Eurasian mammal with mainly dark brown fur and a darker mask across the eyes, noted for ejecting a fetid, F E T I D, fluid when threatened. Oh. Another term for skunk. <laughs> it's literally a skunk. Oh. A pole cat. I've never heard a that. Pole cat. Must be like a southern thing. Must be. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Cabbage milk. <I> <laughs> What? I have an irrational fear of someone grabbing my collarbone <laughs> and ripping it out. <gasps> no Whoa. one, so no one's allowed to touch my collarbone. Oh my god! Well, now I'm gonna think about that. Hey, you can't rip out a collarbone. That's, that's pretty. You could. Yeah. No, <laughs> that shit is attached well, to your let's body. Try it. Like, oh it's wait, no, I'm like scared. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Aaron so, will pull. Can you imagine, like. I don't like when people touch my collarbone, no, but like, I'm, I, uh, especially like mine, like protrude. Yeah, but like you know, some say someone like took a little, like, <laughs> okay. took a little hand, like took a hammer, and then was like, <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> Did you know you technically were able you you could bite through your finger if you wanted to? Our bodies just don't let us. Like if you had no feeling or whatever, you could just bite through it. Oh yes, but your pain stops you from you, being able to chew through your finger. Your, body but won't your let teeth you. are definitely strong enough to bite through your finger. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. I wonder what that feels like. Like in your mouth. Isn't there a bone? Yeah, yeah you can bite through it. I bet it's like a rib. Enough. What? Like, like because you got like a bony center. Oh, you just like yeah, you couldn't bite the bone in half. No, no well, I always see it. Like, you just start do this. <laughs> Ew. Well, because your body knows that you're biting yourself, so it stops it. Yeah. I broke my collarbone. It's the only bone I ever broke. Yeah. Can you see it? Uh, not as much Take anymore. Take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off. What are we doing here today? Yeah. <laughs> um, I just think that's horrifying. That's something I never have thought about, but now I yeah. probably will. <laughs> oh, no yeah. one can rip a bone out of your body. That's I know, not, but just it's not the mortal thought, combat. If someone was strong enough, like You're if Shaq came up to me. For someone who's afraid of an elevator. To rip a collarbone <laughs> out of your body? I mean, it's yeah, like that's why it's combat. irrational. It could okay. happen. Okay, it's irrational. Think if, if Shaq came up to me and grabbed my collarbone, he could probably definitely rip it off. Absolutely. <sighs> But he's too nice. Shaq wouldn't do something like that. <laughs> Chris Humphries. I don't, I don't know. know him in real life. Someone tall and muscular. Wow. Okay. I am so fucking afraid of mascots. Language. Only fears I have are of mascots oh. and vomiting. But mascots are just so scary to me. Like when I was five, my mom took me to Chuck E. Cheese <gasps> and held me up to that rat mascot knowing how terrified I was of him. And I screamed in his face and made my mom drop me and I ran away. Ever since then, I can't go near anything that has to do with mascots. I'm so scared of them. I feel like that could be like a, you know, a problem. 
That it sounds reasonable. Yeah. Like, like if you had some crazy experiences when you were a kid, and now you just see like, because it's like it's big and not it's like human almost, like. but it's almost human, but it's like yeah. oversized, so it's like bigger yeah. than life. And when you're like a little kid, it's even bigger. Yeah, but like imagine like being in high school and like not being able to go to any like <laughs> games or like stuff like I, that. I, but I feel like you you can go about your life avoiding a mascot. And it's kind of funny. Honestly, it's kind of like a cute little fear. You're just like, oh, God, here it is again. Yeah, and you but just like, like, you, get, you go on a date to, like, you know, a baseball game, and oh in, in between the periods, the big Mets head yeah. comes down. Don't and, look at oh them. Oh, my God, I have to go home. Like, <laughs> I don't yeah. know. It's a little well, I can tell you there's nothing to be scared of because that was me under that costume. So just picture me. <laughs> so maybe even more reason to be scared. <laughs> or buy yourself a mascot. And then just beat the shit out of it and destroy it and get Oh, I thought fear. you were gonna be like and wear it so you know that it's not bad. You can do that too. Beat the shit out of it. They, actually, I kind of don't like the Chick Fil A cow. <laughs> okay. Do they have like a real one? The ma- the one in the mascot costume. Oh, I've never seen it in real life. Yeah, I feel like I've just seen billboards. It would be at our elementary school like every Friday. Oh, we didn't have Chick Fil A where I live. Same. Oh. I have been waiting for every a bullet Friday. to come through one of these walls ever since you just said that. Now. Stop. <laughs> Okay, That's next. terrible. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I don't want to be thinking about it, but now it's. A- <laughs> no, I'll be thinking about it all day now. <laughs> a big irrational fear of mine for the longest time has been water slides. I can't help but think that I might get stuck or get cut because there's a sharp object on the water slide. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's another one I won't do. Those water slides where there's the tube enclosure. Oh, really? Fuck that. I love water slides. I was just. I know. I was just <laughs> googling water parks the other day, where I was like. <laughs> Should we go to Hurricane Harbor? Do you want to? I will What's Hurricane Harbor? It's the Six Flags one. You can go to the amusement park. Okay, can we yeah. go like next Monday, like really early in the morning? <laughs> next like, Monday, really But like, y- y'all, but I'm talking about we go in for like two and, yeah. hours and just like get out. If it's warm enough. But I would love to. It's definitely going to be warm enough. Like, we mean the water or like if it's hot outside? Yeah, I know. But I'm hoping that it's hot outside. Yeah. But we go and just go. We're going to. We're going and we're going to ride every slide. We'll get fast passes. It just. I'm down. Okay. Water parks give me the creeps. I also, I was going to say this, but I hate like empty pools or like aquariums like what i think might be behind an aquarium like inside the walls oh. is like my like i fucking hate that water tanks like any type of big things of water uh. huh the ocean the ocean you should go like to a the, wave pool i went to like, the monterey aquarium and i got to with your brother and greg barrett i got to go like backstage in the aquarium <gasps> and carly uh. it was wild was it like huge Tubes and T- tubes, tanks. P- tanks where they're holding like jellyfishes that have been tangled like all <gasps> around each other. Matt, and you're, like, I can't even listen to this right now. Because <laughs> like jellyfishes, they have to like let them untangle themselves. They're not going to like get in there. Yeah. Sometimes like some of the jellyfish get so tangled where they just have to set them in a separate Sad. tank and let them. But they, they're they, smart. They get like out of they it. can figure it out. But you're just like, Ugh. oh. I just hate knowing there's so much water flowing through. Uh, I don't know what it is. Something with water really freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm always scared about being like in a pool of water with like a big whale. <laughs> <laughs> like a whale's going to appear. Have you in seen your the pool? video of that canoeer getting eaten by the whale in the ocean? Yeah, but oh, they didn't die. No, they spit no. them out. I know, which is still, God, still insane. Not interested. But like, shit, like how many times, like the idea of getting killed by a killer whale when you're like a shamu instructor, I think is the oh. saddest well, death. Well, don't be ever. a shamu instructor and then it won't happen. Yeah, maybe mm-hmm. don't. Fuck Sea World, right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck Sea World. Or like Tiger King <laughs> messing with tigers. <laughs> Same vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I want to go to Sea World just because it's like the last time ever in like humanity will will ever have whales held in <laughs> captivity and just knowing like you just want to kind of see it for one more time. Have you ever done time. a whale watch? Yes, I love whale yeah. watching. But just knowing that it's still existing. Yeah. But you just want to see it to get more angry at it. Does that make sense? Oh, it fuels you. Right. And I just want to know. You have to sneak in, though. You can't pay for a ticket. Yeah, I don't want them to have my money, but I want to go in there and watch it just to be like, I can't believe. Pay um, for a ticket and then call your credit company, credit card company, and fight the charge. Commit fraud. I didn't go. I got it right. Like a security camera footage. I have like a hat on. And balloons and cotton candy. Like, really, they're like, what about all the other charges for the rest of the day? Yeah, they're like, he went to the gift shop. He went to the gift shop. He went to the Mike's pushing me in, like, the dolphin, like, stroller. And I'm like, you're like feeding fish. You have a giant stuffed animal of a whale. 
Yeah. <laughs> but you can't, like, then you get framed for murder, but you can't say that you're a SCU. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. I was. And she was there. <laughs> Then you're just an all country. Yeah. Yeah. Just pictures of me everywhere. That sounds like um like a Larry David thing. Yeah. Oh my god, a hundred percent. I was there. Okay. So I have a fear of Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> me too, sir. Jesus or Jesus? Je- Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you, not, you said it like Jesus. Jesus. Wait, Jesus. But the you guy. Said it like, the you guy, said it right? was like you were cursed. Like, I ha- Jesus. So I have a fear Jesus. of Jesus. Well, that's because the only time I ever use it is like, Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you say it with like a Z. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Little Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Little Jesus with so the G. Jesus or Jesus? <laughs> okay. They're like cheese its too, so. I have a fear of Jesus. And, a, Jesus. and I 100% understand how psychotic. <laughs> Don't we all? Are we supposed to? <laughs> the fear of God. Are we supposed us? to be scared? Hey, okay, go on. Sorry. I understand how psychotic that sounds. My family is not religious in the slightest, but my mom loved the musical Jesus Christ Superstar. <laughs> <laughs> and every year around Easter, <laughs> she'd watch it, and I would hide in my room, terrified of catching a glimpse of him. <laughs> Catching a glimpse. <laughs> Catching a glimpse of him hanging on the cross and then have nightmares following it. Ooh. So since then, I've just been scared of him. Pictures of him, the story of him, the way he's all bloody. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is, yeah. I mean, no, actually, I guess like seeing him on the cross could traumatize a child. No, and then she goes, and don't even get me started with Passion of the Cross. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably all. It's a horror movie for this person. The whole thing is truly terrifying. Ooh, that one got me good. But like, <laughs> don't get me started on the crime. Yeah. I think this is a legitimate fear. Jesus is scary, and yeah. especially if your first exposure to him when you're a little kid is like a bloody guy. Yeah, and, nailed and to when a you cross, walk into a that's church, that's what's fear. like on the altar. In a, in a thorny crown, yeah. yeah, just blood coming down. You're like, gosh, yeah. Can we just have like it. a mural of him just going like this <laughs> instead of like? No, yeah, they got to no, But now you, you got to get. I mean, you got to get over that now. Like, well, yeah, I he's think it's everywhere. Just, you can't. That's that's a tough I think life. She's all in to, us. I think she needs to just accept him in his heart. Okay, <laughs> Matt. <Shut up. laughs> you know what I thought was always so interesting when I was a kid about Jesus? We're like, Jesus. Wait, where, Jesus? when Jesus. he's nailed on the cross, where is he nailed? In, in uh, the palms of his hands. Okay. In his little feet, right? Now you know. His little feet. It's impossible. <laughs> he's a size four and a half. <laughs> he wouldn't have been nailed by his hands because the weight, you can't, there's nowhere... It would You'd have slipped fall. off. You have to nail someone right here. Didn't they do it and then do this? Come again? Didn't they do it on the ground and then they plopped him up? Correct. Yeah, but, but the then... weight of his hands oh, oh, oh. would have like slipped out of it. Yes. So he would have been have to been nailed right here. Those are more accurate. Uh, well, conspiracy theory. Maybe it never happened. <laughs> maybe. Is it? I don't Hot know. Take. Maybe, that's a, maybe that's a hole in the plot. That they just forgot to. <laughs> they forgot they just to forgot include. When they put in their oh, so when I was a kid, I'd always like look at it and go, "That one's wrong because it's in his hands." <laughs> oh, that one's correct that because one it's mean- in his arms. <laughs> it is, <laughs> it is like- strange that that was just that was the form of capital punishment in Rome at the time. Hang him on a cross. But if like if I he know. was born in like France in the 1600s, they would have chopped his head off with a guillotine, and then the so whole, we would all be walking around with guillotines, guillotines like yeah. on our necks. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, or like in the olden days where they would like pull you apart by horses. King George like, uh, Cross, or wait, what's the one? It's just like that was just the that form stuff of is death. So scary. What? <laughs> that like forms of punishments. Oh yeah, those like History in- Channel shows where they just show you how yeah. they used to torture people. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, don't watch pull those. apart by horses. <laughs> Yeah, they tie. I definitely four, heard that. They but, tie geez. a horse to each of your limbs. Stop. And then they Bro. send the horses. Stop. And then you just get ripped up. Absolutely not. No. Stop. Was that common or was that? Yeah, that was like a form of punishment. Like that's how if you and people would go and watch it. Yeah. That, I think we used to throw crazy. like women in the rivers if we thought they were a witch. World yeah. star. Yeah. You'd stone them. <laughs> yeah. World star. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if Jesus oh, on the shit. cross? World star. World star. People, That's terrible. TikTok, Don't TikTok. make that kind of joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not funny. Good gaslight. 
<laughs> well, what's funny is that like I genuinely was just like, okay, that's not. Mike crossed it. Yeah, no, he didn't. No pun intended. Ooh, crossed uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> seven. 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 Yes, that's not seven. number thirteen. But... Seven. <laughs> okay, this person's irrational fear is that they're going to get carbon monoxide poisoning oh. i don't have to be in an area where it is likely but it's always in the back of my mind and it has been since i learned about it years ago get that is scary get a carbon yeah. monoxide detector yeah they said learnt with the t <laughs> yeah that's learnt. a word i know i just don't just I say prestigious learned. sounding uh learnt. definitely get a carbon monoxide detector but also i think before you die from it you start to experience like some symptoms yeah like, but if you're sleeping yeah well sleep in a room and have a carbon monoxide detector. Yeah, but what if you're in a hotel? Dude, every fire alarm is half fire alarm and a carbon monoxide detector. What's a carbon monoxide? No, it's a different thing. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, we have a fire yeah. alarm in a house and a carbon monoxide. Some, and one night, sometimes they're together, yeah. but you can also just buy like a one for an outlet. Like for people traveling in hotels, you plug it into a little outlet oh, and it's yeah. a carbon monoxide detector. So you're saying there are places that just don't have carbon monoxide yes. detectors yes a lot of places really? don't i, I mean, think I guess that, I never I paid think attention. places aren't held up to code if they yeah, yeah i think you have, have yeah maybe like corporate buildings but like if you move into like some old a apartment building apartment, yeah. yeah like they might not have they one. don't have carbon monoxide detectors not all fire detectors are combination i just think you, but no, you I saying, think saying go and go, go make sure you go get your own carbon monoxide detector i'm like well wherever you're at most of the time <laughs> there should be one otherwise not in every room of every place you go. Like if you're in a hotel that's like somewhere, this this is for the person who has this fear. I'm saying, buy a little travel one, plug it into a wall, and then wherever you are, you'll be okay. I remember in high school, there there were twin brothers, and like one day they didn't show up, and then I'm it was because. Do you want to step outside? I'm not mad. Can I talk to you for a second, dude? I'm not. <laughs> you want to square up? Sorry, Aaron. Sorry, Matt, I'm, just I'm, tiff. I'm just looking up. Do Carbon hotel are hotels not allowed? Yeah, to have... look up if it's like I'm sure it's a code. Why did you just text me, Mike? Can you shut up already? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go on to the. Wait, what were you sorry, saying about sorry. twins? I think it's not important. Okay. Um. Did they not go to school because they had carbon monoxide? Yeah, their whole family was sleeping. And they died? No, but they had to, like, go to the... I'm pretty sure they had to, like, go to the hospital and stuff. I forget how they got woken up. Like, someone woke up and, like, everyone, I think, like, felt weird. And then they had to get checked out. Yeah, I've known a family like that, too. Like, the kids You're are throwing right. up. What, what does it say? Those smoke alarms are normally required in American hotel rooms. No state and few hotel brands require in-room carbon monoxide detectors. So they maybe have them in the hallway, but yeah, not... Yeah, they're not like you... There's not. They're not as ubiquitous as fire detectors, smoke detectors. No, Dang. apologize. No, it's okay. <laughs> apologize to Mike. Sorry, Mike. It's okay. The guilt you, the, 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 the guilt you feel is sorry enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Sorry, man. I just thought that was weird. This person said, my mom is... <laughs> Is genuinely afraid of <laughs> rice. Rice? <laughs> rice? Yes, the food. She will not go to any restaurant that serves rice because she's that afraid. Also, I played sports with a girl who was deathly afraid of ranch. Anytime anyone had it with their meal, she would genuinely start panicking and have to leave the table. What? I get, I get the girl who was scared of ranch. I used to be scared of ranch up until I was like... <laughs> what? Like... What 11. scared you about it? It just looked gross. Okay. Like, because I didn't like milk and it just looked like people were like dipping things milk. in like milk and pepper. And yeah. you're like, that looks even more disgusting. So that's kind of how I feel about like cottage cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Like the way that it looks. Yeah. So just like, I just, until like I really like tried it, I was like, okay, this is pretty delicious. But for a long time, <laughs> I didn't like it. The rice thing, interesting. It sounds you a little bit. You have to that, avoid a lot of yeah, rice. I know, is I'm she like, white? Everywhere. <laughs> that sounds really Probably. sad. That sounds like I would. Is die. she afraid of rice or is she afraid of? It sounds like culturally she wasn't exposed around a lot yeah. of rice and sounds like a crazy like white it, it, woman it who is, thinks yeah. associate rice with like a different culture. Totally. Yeah, she sounds like a chicken nuggets and ketchup kind of girl. But <laughs> also, it, I mean, if you, rice is kind of a crazy food, it's like there's like thousands of them on your plate. It's like that's the like only old. food that's like. You know, it's not would, soup or like a piece of pizza. It's like a thou a mountain of like little like little bugs or something. You know, I, I kind of see it, but I don't get it. Rice is I don't get it. Couldn't be like a nicer food. It's so I yummy. Wish rice was just like a little bit bigger. 
<laughs> that would be yeah, like bite like bite size rice, like the size of a pea. Oh, we get some. Um, like you could really stab your fork. Couscous. With, with, yeah, get some couscous. Oh, I do love couscous. The food's so nice they named it twice. I am absolutely terrified of getting stuck in football padding. Like genuinely <laughs> afraid. However, I am a very small, five four, one hundred and ten pound girl who has never once played football. <laughs> stuck. Nor do I plan to. I think maybe it's a weird form of claustrophobia. To be fair to me, the padding is super hard for big football players to get out of. Like, they have to have their teammates <laughs> yank it off of them. I don't know. Something about the thought of being stuck in it and unable to get out with it stuck over my shoulder <laughs> slash around my head freaks me out. I totally get it. I get it, but it's, like, so funny as, like, a girl. <laughs> you're, like, you're not gonna... <laughs> like, knowing that you'll never Put on football a... gear? Yeah. yeah. Like, or you're not big enough to like. Oh, I'm too big for this. I should. I should have got a bigger size. You're yeah. the smallest possible size that football gear will go on. Yeah. I say life is a little short. It sounds like you got a really funny irrational fear. Go and try it on. Have like a Dick Sporting Goods. Yeah. Get the hole. Well, I don't know. Go. I don't know. Go. I don't know. Is she single? Go on a date with some football player. Tell them you've always wanted to try on some football gear. And just go do it. Because Role actually, play. I think it would be funny just to try. It's not going to harm me, kill you. And you'll always know what it's like. It may increase your fear. Or it may not. I get the helmet thing. Like, have you ever put on someone, like, you're going to yeah. go dirt biking or something. You put the helmet on, and you're like, uh-oh. Like, this is never coming off, and you're just like... No, my head's too small. Oh, <laughs> that's... I've like, done that big. before, where, like, I put a helmet on, <laughs> yeah. and I, like, have a little panic attack that, oh, like, yeah. you need to get the saw and, like, cut it off, but... So um, I, kind of, I kind of see her thing there, but... If you're a small <laughs> little girl, what? I'm thinking about go uh, Goosebumps. <laughs> you know the episode of Goosebumps, The Haunted Mask, where little Miss uh, Mary Beth puts on the mask, and she can't get it off, and she's like, I'm gonna be like this for the rest of my life. Never that's the story <laughs> no but i always because i always think about her her being stuck with that mask on her face oh, for the rest yes. of her life and she has to go like rush a sorority and she just has this like <laughs> hideous mask and they're like what happened because she put on this mask when she was like 10 years old <laughs> sorry cut um, all of that out no it's funny i'm getting delirious <laughs> 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 Guys, we've all been on like break for months. Yeah, we're done. Uh, see you guys next time. <laughs> My rational fear just keeps going. Uh, turn off the video now. We gotta go. <laughs> just yelling at the audience. Oh. But I want to say thank you guys <laughs> yes, if that's so the real much. Ending, I did want to say before we leave. I just want to say th thank you. Just thank you to everybody. Thank to you us for or our audience. You're welcome. Man. Uh. Um, and there's tons of episodes that have been out. Um. Please go watch them if you haven't caught up on all of them. And listen. And listen. And comment down below. Uh, topic ideas that you may want us to cover also as well. Follow our Instagram to see what our topics are going to be so you can email us. Yep. Uh, good influence. It. Uh, yep. Good influences. <laughs> yes, <ma 'am. laughs> I'll, be, I'll be taking the stairs to get down back to the car. I mean, we can... all will. Yeah. We'll, no, you guys can take we'll the elevator. We don't take the elevator when we go down that way. <laughs> Oh, true. Okay. Well, right. we'll see you next week, guys. We'll see you next week, Bye. every Tuesday. To the Bye. Blue.